that for him or you, Dan, to expect, or anyone online, truly, because I see people in the chat asking, to expect to see the logs here or literally any other case or situation that would ever were to involve like a Twitch whisper or a Twitter DM or a Facebook message or any type of like sexually explicit content with a minor, you will never see them. The actions that Dr. Respect was serious in, in, involved in are considered child exploitation and abuse. What's up guys? So today's video, we're going to talk about Dr. Disrespect situation. I'm going to come at it from not the angle that everyone's coming at him, which is just freaking throwing allegations up. I'm going to come at the angle where we're going to start investigating and uh, Destiny came here and did a talk with a, a Garrett, basically a reporter, I think a Rolling Stones reporter. I could be wrong here, but he was a journalist and he dropped a lot of information. So I do want to bring you guys the best clips from there. It's his two hour stream. He doesn't even timestamp this, his the streams. So I'm going to give you guys the best bits here. So the first bit is they're going to talk about, uh, you know, the facts of the matter. Did he know his, her age? What, how did the information leak? What was happening? So let's jump right in and we'll start talking. Uh, any sensitive content here, guys, uh, just be careful. I'm going to go ahead and give you a disclaimer. There could be some sensitive content here, but I will also tell you this. There is no real evidence out. No one even can see the actual logs. So don't worry. There's nothing serious, but there's going to be a lot of talks and a lot of uh, speculation. Now, I don't want you guys to just jump into conclusions immediately. That's why we have this journalist in here to see. He actually investigated uh, the situation and he could not find police reports. He could, he, basically, there's a lot of information that's missing. Why is Twitch, uh, uh, you know what I mean, uh, complicit in keeping this hidden for four years if it was a serious issue? So uh, even the journalist is very uh, skeptical on the situation and he's uh, basically urging and I can feel it in front of uh, APA, in front of this other YouTuber, he's urging them to basically calm down and uh, not to go into too much of conclusions and assertions and Destiny is basically on that train as well. He's just he's really looking to the facts of the matter and is not really making conclusions yet. So we'll jump into this first clip. Uh, Slasher, was it your uh, favorite part of his tweets where he went in there back and forth and edited it in and out minor? That was my favorite part, I think. <laughs> was pretty good. He is... I, uh, I'm sure he aware that once you edit something on Twitter, you get a giant fucking notification. That, that that's that's why I think he's a moron and he, like, wasn't using a PR firm to do this. Like, there's so many things he could have done differently. Like, okay, try to make it sound a little bit better. Be like, listen, guys. This person, well, I thought they were 18. You know, like, you know what it must be? If I had to guess, I think the doc probably assumes that the logs are about to leak and he's trying to get out in front of it. So yeah, the logs 100%. must be super fucking bad for this to all happen. Because otherwise, if the logs don't leak, you can just say whatever the fuck you want. Be like, listen, uh, yeah. I did some sex thing, but I don't know what all this shit's about. You guys need are on some shit. Or just say nothing. Yeah. Who's going to give a shit? That's what I, I would do. I thought and that I, was the I one do, thing he omitted that I, I thought would have been super key. A lot of people were saying, like, oh, maybe he didn't know. And I'm like, if that yes. was the case, I feel like that has to be in there. You lead with mm -hmm. that. There's no way you don't put That's that. That's the biggest in that omission. So when he omitted that, that was very telling to me that obviously in the logs, he knew the person's age. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I actually, wanted... before I assume that, before I assume that, can you guys think well, of any theory why he wouldn't mention that in that long ass tweet that he knew he didn't know her age if he didn't know? Well, he did know. That's actually in the reporting from the Rolling Stone article. That's like, reporting, but I'm saying this statement. Like, why wouldn't he include that? That's what I'm asking. I just want to say... Wait, wait, why wouldn't he include what? Wait. Why wouldn't he include the fact that he didn't know that she was underage if he didn't know? Because he did know, right? No, yeah. I, that, that's what I'm saying. But if you were to assume that he didn't know, let's say there was a reason why. I'm just asking if anyone can give one. That's what I'm asking. Um, no, there's no reason. What? I just want to say re real quick that for him or you, Dan to expect, or anyone online, truly, because I see people in the chat asking, to expect to see the logs here or literally any other case or situation that would ever were to involve like a Twitch whisper or a Twitter DM or a Facebook message or any type of like sexually explicit content with a minor, you will never see them. Wait, and for you could, have you, you could. Some expectation. No, that would be that would be insane. 
Why would why would that be insane? That type, I feel like that shit happens like, dude. For not, 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 not only for, but those weren't di- what like an employee releasing private messages between two users is insane and at just to begin with. But for the extra layer of there being sexually explicit um, messages or media sent to a minor and to have to want the to for you to want to have to see it is not a realistic thing that you or anyone else on the internet should ever expect. I feel well, like that's literally that the Chris mean, Hansen to catch a predator. Like, believe me, this shit happens. That's no, all the show did. It's like, I want to be a b-hole. Yes, they say it. No, because they, at that time when they were doing the show or whatever, they were like hiring, um, or they were using the police department to make a fake identity online and then to gather communication based off the police doing an undercover investigation. Those are two completely different things. Whenever you see like, episodes didn't have whenever, the police, whenever you see, they let them go. Yeah, okay, whenever you see assholes doing like pedo hunters or some shit on, on YouTube, that is the absolute, I mean, a lot of people think it's justice and they love it as content, but you have to be able to understand the difference between doing it as content and whatever you see as justice and then doing it what would be the legal way of approaching the situation and those are two completely different things we're 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 on a different boat i'm not talking about twitch being like hey guys here are the logs i'm talking about some anonymous source that used to work at twitch that was there when the doc disrespect shit happened and had a copy of these fucking shits because they were crazy and being like releasing private communication between you two users is insane releasing two private communication between you two users where one is underage and it is sexually explicit is f***ing crazy, Dan. What the f***? What are you talking about? I, don't, I feel like you're trying to get, like, uh, obsessively upset right now to try and make your bad it point seem better. It, this is very no, common. People no can censor on the them. internet should be demanding private messages. That was demanding. I'm just saying it's possible they could leak. All. I'm saying it's possible it could leak. I don't when know who's who demanding. It, it's from one end of the communication or the other. Either one person or the other person in the private communication is revealing I understand it. It, it is possible. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump on to another segment here, another part where they actually start talking about maybe Dr. Disrespect was seriously in panic mode. I'm just going to skip over all of that BS. And that's my job here, guys, to skip over the BS for you. Did we put to bed that fake email that came out? The uh, the one to no, it is not real. commentary guy? It is not real. Yeah, yeah. What about That's the uh, the trans right, sex worker thing with Doc? Is that real? Uh, <laughs> I cannot confirm. I don't see any reason to think that she made all that up, but I haven't spoken to her. I don't know. I mean, it looked real. There was a recording. And by the way, Slasher, I, I realize now, uh, as someone tells me that I autistically speak uh, autistically sometimes, this is not me trying to fight you. I was just trying to come up with yeah. a, any way possible to understand why Doc would do what he's doing. And the only thing that clicks in my mind is he thinks that the release of the logs is imminent and he's trying to get in front of it. That's where that's coming from. Well, no, the, 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 the Bloomberg report came out. And as much as you want to say that, like, it didn't have additional information and that journalists don't matter and that who fucking cares, that is like a real, that is a real publication with real lawyers who means they really vetted it. And that, that requires a response. There was no, and not only was it that, but everybody, all, you know, Nick and Tim did the video before he made his tweet. There are a lot of people that had already responded to the reporting that I think at that point it was inevitable he had to already um, say something. He probably was in panic mode. I don't think it was because I honestly, there, I think there was 0% of him that thought that, quote unquote, the logs would come out. I think it was just because of what was actually unfolding. Well, I'm trying to think about like what what data has actually been released here. All that's been released is basically people I saying, know who, uh, I, "God damn it, Dan!" My, my, here, my, the main I point. I can't even speculate without you going nuts. Me, I just said because, all that's been released is that know, Doc was the, banned for sexting with a minor. Texting because with a you mind. you sound like I feel like every person on the internet, and it is very frustrating. It's basically if you don't trust journalists and you don't give a shit about their reporting then obviously you're going to have all of these questions and they're always going to remain unanswered and you're always going to be annoyed that you don't have this piece of info, this piece of info, and you think this is kind of weird and odd. And I agree, there are certain contexts this 
case that can be questioned. But if you trust journalists and their reporting hey, I do. and their sourcing, then at this point, the whole thing is relatively clear. It's not that you have most of the facts from it, and it's relatively easy, I think, to put together, in my opinion. If it's only based on if you trust certain reporting I, I, I that have no out. idea did you not hear what i'm saying i said well i'm like so i do trust journalists okay first of all okay. i'm just trying to understand why the doc went full retard okay because the, the, journalists, saying, the journalists that i do trust okay like you like yourself that wrote this story but all they've said is that he was banned for texting with a minor that's it that's like so i feel like the doc could have said a thousand things that would have been better to say than what he said. He said the worst thing ever. There, there has to be a reason that he's like, hmm, of all the panic. things I could say. I think he just went to panic mode. I, re I mean, I don't have any insight. I don't think it was no. because he was afraid of more. The boom, but I think you're, what I'm trying to tell you is you're undervaluing how much the impact the Bloomberg article report had. I'm telling you he, that he definitely that was, just knows the document is out there. He's worried know. about the trust and safety report coming out. That's what that, he's worried about. That's that will true. That will, um, yeah, characterize the messages. I, I think the Bloomberg report from a 1 to 10 has got to be like a 9.5 on the I am fucked. And that is what made him panic. Again, no, but I, I really don't think it is a looking forward more. I mean, look, I cannot I mean, say that there's not more. I cannot say that there's not more about maybe other cases or other potential situations and that there might be even more to this specific case of so that is possible um but i really think it was an incentive incentive reaction to the bloomberg report and then people reacting to the bloomberg report personally when when was the bloomberg report uh, compared to doc's tweets the bloomberg report is what started everything it was, it was that on morning that kicked yeah, off that yeah. morning. so it was the, the, the morning and then morning. around noon doc tweeted his like final uh, big write-up tweet the full retardation one right okay yeah. yes um, the bloomberg report preceded the eventual I, I could i could imagine being the doc and you're getting a call a call from bloomberg being like hi i'm a journalist at bloomberg and i'm writing a story about how you were texting minors and we have sources on record now and uh you know, I just wanted to get your comment. I could imagine him being like, fuck, they have a paper trail. They have actual evidence. They're going to release a lot of shit. I have to get ahead of this. That's what I would be thinking. I like that's why I went back to the think. I think the doc was fearful that something was going to get leaked, the logs or an internal report or something saying like, yeah, so Doc was here talking with a 13-year-old, said multiple times, you know, I love that 13-year-old butthole or whatever it is, and uh, that's gonna that's that's what he was afraid of. Because up until then, and even with the article, it's just, like, not that, you know? I can't believe that's what you think would happen, or even you think that he think that that is what... I don't, I don't know. Well, I, I, mean, I, I think Doc is more like me. Uh, well, in the retardation part, sorry. Apparently. <laughs> Are you looking All right guys, I don't understand this. So literally you're telling me I'm supposed to believe that the doctor disrespects situation is so bad all because Bloomberg made a report about it. There's literally zero evidence. Bloomberg won't show the evidence. Nobody's going to be able to find any evidence. And all of this, that's it. This situation is done here. That's it. There's no more information, but you're not going to show us information. We're supposed to trust you as a reporter. Who are you even? How am I supposed to trust you? What, what is your credentials as a reporter? Have you ever made a... Have you ever had to retract a story? If you did, why the fuck would I trust you on this story too? Uh, so you have to show me your uh, sources. It's kind of unreasonable for this reporter to come at me as a journalist and tell me, no, I, wait, you want to see my sources? No, I'm not going to show you my sources. It's kind of unreasonable, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to sit here, especially in a time where their misinformation and disinformation is at a peak. To think of it as a reasonable thing for me to just accept your uh, literal allegations without any evidence and that's enough. I'm not going to accept them. I don't care what you think. The Twitch employee could be on some kind of Ashkawa Kanza kind of stuff that he doesn't even know what he's talking about. I do agree. Why did the... Uh, uh, maybe Dr. Disrespect could have handled the situation a little bit more. Maybe pushed out a couple extra videos or I don't know. Maybe... 
handled it a little bit better in speech wise but why should he be having the onus on him to not be it's the onus upon you to prove that he is guilty it's not the onus upon him to show his innocent do you understand me like this is what the courts of laws are uh, famed for that the onus of guilt is on the prosecution the defendant doesn't have to show that he's guilty he has to prove that he doesn't actually have to prove anything he just has to disprove whatever claims you guys have and that's all uh, I would assume Dr. Disrespect was trying to do. Now, I do have another part here. This is the final part, guys, so don't think I'm just going to steal all of Destiny's video, I promise you. This is where they talk about the Twitch report and how Twitch reports uh, wasn't even a big deal because there was a, a Twitch report to the CSAM, which is like the children's services, I guess, is, uh, is necessary and obligatory, but never led to a police investigation anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys to this part. Uh, this is probably the only two parts that you really want to watch. So thank God you found my video. So make sure you guys click like and subscribe to me. I'm the best gangster in the world. And we're going to create content together forever. Let's move on. Let me prove to you guys that you should not be making allegations. And immediately jump into conclusions about the story. Because even though that there was a report, that doesn't mean that anything really happened. So much your discussion is on Twitch. And I have reported that Twitch did report this to the National Center of uh, Missing and Exploited Children. Why not? You have that on record. Yes. Why not request? That's a big deal. Why that not? A big deal. Why not request that they have released information, or why not request that law enforcement through this entire time, which then very likely at the behest of MCMEC to do something, have say something. Hold on. That, that this is, is this is, We're about to make a clip for live stream fail slasher. Okay. What you're telling me. OK, is that what Doc did, OK, rose to the level that for a fact, Twitch was forced to make a report oh. to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting oh. Children. CSEA and CSAM report. What I'm asking is that Twitch did make that report to the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. Yes. All of them go there. Yes. OK. And they did that for Dr. Disrespect right now. Yes. At the wow. When this, when it was initially reported, all reports with CSCA or CSAM are reported. Okay. The National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. Okay. So, there is a report on Doctor Disrespect at the National now, Center. The legal from, process after yeah. again, no court records have ever been found. I have never been able to get law enforcement to comment or even acknowledge that a thing exists. Do not have details on where it went after. All right. Just to be clear, though, those are just reports, right? So, like, for instance, if I think that Forethought has been engaged in bad behavior in my subreddit, like, if I would make that report to them. They would have that report filed. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a report, right? Well, Nick Mick automatically works with all law enforcement organizations. Do sure. I'm just saying that, like, a report is just a report. It doesn't necessarily mean that, like, something happened. It just means somebody felt like they had an obligation to make that report, right? Yeah, well, Twitch is obligated to make that report. Yes. I'm, yes. Let me reiterate for the fourth time. I'm just saying that just because a report has been made doesn't mean a crime has been committed. It just no, means somebody felt they need to make a report. That's what I'm just saying. But investigation sorry. will happen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll leave that part out for the clip. I'm telling you, Dan, Jason is chat still thinks I'm, I'm full of shit. This entire I don't think ever, you're ever, full of shit. They wanted, you to, you. they wanted you to become Assange. Do you not Nothing understand? You were the chosen I, one, but you I'm backed into the shadows. Everything that I'm explaining, they definitely think I'm full of shit. I guarantee you. I it, it, I, I love you, man, but I'm I'm not. No, <laughs> Slasher, you, can I ask you where that reporting is? I don't see it in the Rolling Stone article. I don't see it in the Bloomberg article. Where we're reporting that us. the report was made to the national agency for missing and exploited children or whatever. i can say that it is being edited in as we speak okay so that's is that new information dropping here no it was information which was uh included and then removed from the edit and then published and then actually today having a lot of discussion about re-including it with the source so it could be included. Um, well, it's dropping it, here it, first. It um, is true. Yes, that, that is. Listen, I I'm will told, say that I'm told by an authorized source that yes, it, he was reported to NCMEC, and that all reports 
with CSEA and CSAM are reported to NCMEC. I mean, that takes a lot of, um, that's a lot of uh, air out of the wiggle room that uh, the doc has major, right yeah. now. Wait, a lot of air out of the wiggle uh, room you, for what? Did you know that this, Wait, what in you, terms I, of what the conduct actually was? Well, it rose to the level that people that for a living interact with NCMEC, okay, decided that it fit the criteria of submitting it. That's what it meant. Yes. Uh, that, means that, that means that trained people viewed Doc's conversation and determined that it contained either child sexual abuse material or pornographic images directly. That's what it that's what it means. That trained people saw this and determined that that was the case. Trained people like people at Twitch or at at Twitch, yeah. Man, they're they're kind of like <clears throat> mandatory reporters. How it works is that when you run um, a tech company, well, I mean really when you run any company that deals with user generated content, you would be fucked if um, like a user submitted uh, like child or something to your stream. You would be fucked, right? Yeah, but like uh, everything but that, that you, you just said, like Dr. Disrespect already said essentially this. What? I'm sorry. Said said what? Did Dr. That he had conversations with a minor, and some of them. Oh, I'm have... sorry. I didn't know that if you talk with a minor, that you get reported to NCMEC. That's hey, cool. if you. Oh, if hold you on. Wait, wait. Shut the f slasher. My bad. Uh, Dan had a, a sundowning moment where apparently he didn't mm -hmm. realize that I was like in the middle of a f sentence. He oh, okay. said on Twitter that he had conversations with a minor, and some of them went too far, or might have gone veered into inappropriate territory. That would be enough, my guess is, for a report to uh, NCMEC or whatever. Okay, you're wrong. See, really? Why? No, no, Dan, no, Dan, Destiny is correct. Oh, uh, you're so sure. telling me, sure. oh, you f***ing retards. I'm the only one who's Oh, actually here's the tiny chat, no, boy. Tiny. Here it goes. Here it yeah, comes. I've mean, actually done it and been through the f***ing training because I ran a company that dealt with them and did reports with it. So you guys are both f***ing retarded, okay? I have Destiny over here trying to be like, well, <laughs> actually, it's this way. And Slasher, who's probably never, doesn't even know how these things are reported, Okay, it's not done through that, first off. Okay, go ahead. Tell us how, what you just Googled, Dan. Go ahead. <laughs> My God. There's a special portal directly for internet service providers to do this. It's different than what the public gets access to, mm -hmm. okay? And it has to fit a very strict criteria of what you're doing, okay? If you go on Discord and send a message to Mr. Mitten three years ago and say, lick my balls, guess what? You're not getting reported to f***ing NCMEC, are you? Wait, where is this criteria listed? Uh, it's on, it's on the site. I don't have access anymore. The actions that Dr. Respect was... Serious. In, in, involved in are considered child exploitation and abuse. So you get that, that, that's what it is. Yes, that's it. So you, you understand what that, that, the difference between that and you telling Mr. Mooton to suck your balls when he was a minor and why those two things are not the same? I never said and, they were the same. Okay. So what I'm saying is that a trained person at Twitch whose job is to analyze this stuff determined that, you know, again, based on what's being said here, determined that this rose to the level of child sexual abuse material. That's all. It's saying that it rose to that level. It wasn't It wasn't something like, oh, it went a little bit too far. We were just JK and or joshing around. Well, hold on. No, went a little bit too far can literally meet that criteria. Yes. Which is exactly um, what Doc tweeted. Yes. Yes, okay. you well, went a little bit too far is ambiguous. Doc. I mean, my reporting specifically says it was explicit after it was indicated what the ex Twitch employee says, who viewed the whispers, after Doc was indicated that the victim was a minor, that yes. this, the, the explicit messages continued with the hope to meet up at TwitchCon. And that is considered CSEA, sexual abuse. Yeah, uh, so quoting from Doc's thing, Adam were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Yeah, that sounds like it would hit the threshold every time. If you, here's the, like, as a general rule of thumb, if you ever have to clarify your intentions around a message to a minor to, like, make people understand that they weren't sexual, you're, you're probably in spooky territory. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's what I'm going to show you guys. You can keep going. If you go, if you want, go watch the Destiny, the stream. They go on this for two hours almost, but here, this is what I gathered from all these clips that I've showed you. 
There is evidence that he knew that he she was young. The evidence is that they continued that they wanted to meet, but I don't think there's actual evidence that in meeting that uh, you know, like for example, this is what I'm assuming. I'll give you guys the the imagination. Think with me. So he's getting texts from this girl, and uh, I guess. Uh, She's maybe a little bit too nice, and so he thinks of it as flirtatious, right? So he takes the bait and is being flirtatious himself, recognizes that she's young, immediately stops being flirtatious, but then she asks, can we still meet at TwitchCon? And all he does is, okay, that's cool. The problem with this guy is when this reporter tells me, oh, don't even imagine, don't even think about seeing these messages. It's very dangerous because what if this is a, a, a whole scheme? What if this is a, an actual scheme? I've seen so many videos. There's a dude that uh, and I lived himself on TikTok over allegations and turns out that it was a complete scheme against him. That the boyfriend, the 20 year old boyfriend of a 17 year old went and schemed on him so she can, uh, so he can basically have messages that they were explicit. So he sends his girlfriend to go be flirtatious with a TikToker that's 23. And he's also 20, by the way, himself, the boyfriend. But let's forget about him. Anyways, the TikToker uh, sends messages, takes the bait. Then I'm not going to tell you guys the name of the TikToker. Uh, maybe I'll send you guys the story. It was the guy that wears the ghost mask. Anyways. Uh, the guy offs himself once the messages go out and the, br uh, the actual boyfriend makes a video with the girl about how they're going to expose him. The guy offs himself because he lost everything. So there's operations, there's people that do this for a living. So to act like, oh, there's no way we're going to be able to see this evidence already throws a red flag in my eyes. So yeah, there's possible. You're right. It's possible they spoke. Like my example here, it's possible they spoke. It's possible he was flirtatious to a youngster. It's possible he realized to stop being doing that and still agree to meet in TwitchCon without any, you know, because she maybe she still maybe she's the one. Hey, can I still meet you? Can I still meet you? He's not gonna say no, no, no. I'm not gonna meet you anymore. Get out of here. He's gonna be like, sure, sure. Well, I'll give you a picture. You know, his pictures are selling for a hundred bucks a picture. Signed picture sells for five hundred bucks. Yeah, of course, the girl wants to go make money still. So he's like, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll let her make some money. And I'll, I'll sign something for her. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet her on Twitch and my, sign something for her. That's cool. My signature is worth a buck or two. And uh, that's what I'm assuming here happened. And then immediately the, she goes and reports it. And this is a whole operation that they had. And so we need to be very careful. And this came out in a very, you know, they, they hushed this out. And they had to settle it on Twitch. I mean... It, it, it was a big deal for a while and then it disappeared. So I don't know. There's still a lot of holes. The reporter is telling us we're never going to be able to fill these holes. He's just going to keep sh throwing some kind of evidence to assert to us, to make assertions and claims. Oh, look, they did a report to NCAS. That means it was, uh, you know, explicit content that was there. Okay, but it turns out a lot of people report for NCAS for a lot of different reasons. So how can we know specifically? Can we... But we're never going to be able to see the evidence, apparently. So, all I'm saying is, guys, I'm very, you know, very weary when it comes to stuff like this. That, like, like, I've seen it happen to Trump where an allegation can get you in jail. I've seen it do destroy Andrew Tate's life, an allegation. I'm just done with believing allegations and making up a whole, uh, you know, world in my head where this guy is the demon, the biggest devil on earth because of certain allegations. I'm just tired of doing that. And so, I'm assuming... And I'm hoping you guys are as well. I, this is the evidence we have here. Just uh, with a grain of salt, man. No, we're never going to know anything else. So stop worrying about the story. Start worrying about yourself. And stop making allegations. Because let's say it is really as bad as it is. Why do you care about uh, his life? Twitch already sued him. Or he sued Twitch. And Twitch wasn't able to win anything. That means there was really nothing... That was criminal matter. He's telling you in this reporting right now that the criminal report, the police report and investigation doesn't exist. So there's nothing criminal in manner, matter. So why are you bringing up four, eight, twenty five years later, basically, to come and destroy this dude's life in his best moments? It's kind of... Uh,
disgusting to be honest and unless we're gonna be able to see more evidence i'm done believing anyone's story from now on um all of these are just allegations sure they could have risen up that con they could have risen up to make a report but it could have also been a mistake uh sure this could have been he could have also wanted to meet her after he knew her age but it could have been an operation against him and it could have been that his intentions switched in the texting itself uh you know what i mean uh, there's so much it could be like i told you the example earlier yeah he was a little bit flirtatious realizes she's young says hell no i don't want to be flirtatious like changes his tone completely so she feels like he's a little bit cold she asks him can i still meet you and he's like sure sure i'll sign whatever you want to bring me and that's enough you know what i mean but uh, i could be wrong the problem is like this reporter said we're never gonna know so why am i sitting here and putting this guy in the devil's suit when he when there's no actual evidence and i'm interested in your guys opinion amazing story another great story but now brings you another amazing story that means you're gonna subscribe today i know you're gonna subscribe so go ahead subscribe and like my video and i love all of y'all peace